Okay, in this video I'm going to show how you can set a DS1307 real-time clock using uh, Adafruit library. And in one of my previous videos I, uh, I'm setting the clock on a date logging shield. And the way I did it that way was using the I2C protocol to talk directly to the DS1307 chip. Um, what you can do, but it's, it's a little more complicated that way because you have to do binary coded decimal and uh, bit shifting. Uh, all that kind of stuff yourself. So in this video, I'm just going to show you a real easy way to do it uh, using this library. Okay, so for this demonstration, I'm going to use this uh, Adafruit data logging shield, uh, which has a, a DS1307 real-time clock um, already attached to it. And you could you could use these same sketches against any DS1307, um, like a module, or you could just hook the chip up directly to a breadboard. Okay, so this is the sketch you would use to set the clock, and um, it's it's really small. So you want to include this uh, RTC Live.h, and you get that from Adafruit, so that's that's their library. And then you include Wire.h, so that's the I squared C protocol library. So you'll need both those. Okay, so then you want to declare a variable called RTC DS1307. Um, that's the type, that's the uh, the class, and I'm naming mine RTC. This buff one, it's a character array. I'm going to use that really just for debugging in the loop. Um, so I set that to, to 20 bytes wide. Um, and I'm going to print debug out to the serial monitor. So uh, serial begin 9600 in the setup. And then I'm going to, I'm going to do wire begin just like you do for every, every uh, time you use I squared C. You have to initialize I squared C doing it that way. And then you want to do RTC begin, so that initializes the real-time clock. Okay, so then this is this is the command that actually sets the clock. And so you do RTC dot adjust, and then you pass it a date time object with underscore underscore or date underscore underscore and underscore underscore time underscore underscore um, as the um, as initialization parameters so that will set the date time <clears throat> on the real time clock based on your computer time so you need to make sure your computer is set at the correct time because um, it's going to set the uh, the clock on that data logging shield whatever time your computer is using it this way and so all this is done in the setup so you could you could do this and just run the sketch and it's going to set the time on that chip based on your computer time so but what I did um, just make sure it's working in the loop. Um, I'm gonna get get the current uh, date time. So you just call RTC now, and that returns a date time object. So I'm calling that now. So then I'm gonna do S printf, and this is where I'm using that buff one array character array here. And um, so I'm form gonna format uh, the date time string. Okay. So the way this one is formatted, it's gonna be uh, hours colon minute colon second space um, day slash month slash year okay so then um, so I'm going to print to the serial monitor date time colon and then the contents above one and then it's going to wait a second and then just loop again so it's going to print the date time every second so so if I so upload that sketch Okay, I'm gonna go to serial monitor. Oh, wrong one. Go to serial monitor. Okay, so uh, 1851. And so there was a little. Okay, so what happened? Is it doesn't match my computer time exactly because when I open the serial monitor, it reruns the sketch, and so this date time is hard coded now onto that Arduino. So anytime you were to hit um, uh, anything that would rerun that sketch, either the reset button or open a serial monitor, is going to rerun this and set it to the original date time. So that's why I'm just a little bit off. It's not much. I mean, so this is 1852. This is maybe you now 10 seconds behind. That doesn't really matter. Okay, so that's how you that's how you set it. Okay, so Net. Then what you want to do without unplugging the Arduino is to run this. This sketch is just to verify that um, 
that is working and that the battery is good. So this is RTC check and it's, it's a similar sketch and include the same libraries, same RTC, same buffer, serial begin, RTC begin. Um, so we're not setting it here. We're basically just going to print it, print it out. So I'm going to upload RTC check now. Make sure that's right. Okay. Okay. Then we run serial monitor. So 1853. So you can, you can see that still matches the time. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug the Arduino and um, I have a backup battery on that data logging shield so that should keep the time um, while it's unplugged. So I'm going to unplug it for maybe five minutes and then plug it back in and just verify that the time still matches uh, the computer time. Okay so the Arduino and data logging shield have been unplugged for about five minutes now so it's been uh, the real-time clock has been running off this backup battery so that provides just enough power to let it uh, continue to keep the the correct time okay so I'm gonna um, plug that back in okay and then I'll go back to the sketch to the okay so this is the check sketch and I'm just gonna show that even after you unplug it it's gonna still have the correct time okay so we're uh, ACM1 and I'm gonna look at serial monitor okay so it's reading at 1900 and so that still matches the computer clock time okay so um, so that's basically how you set set the clock using this library and so going back to the the set sketch again you only need to run this once and you have to be careful you don't want to um, you don't want to do any resets or open serial monitors after you've loaded this on the Arduino because each time you do that it's going to set the date time back to the date time of the sketch when you originally loaded it. So what you really should do is just um, run RTC set once, and then immediately after, immediately after that, run you know whatever sketch you want to run. It, for this case, like for that data logging shield, I just have a dummy sketch called check. But um, whatever you're using that data logging shield for, then you would just go ahead and, and upload that sketch with these types of commands okay so you just do begin and then you can start getting the date and time using that that command there okay so um, uh, what else so yeah run set once uh, if you live in the United States like I do uh, we have daylight savings time and standard time so we are we drift away one hour from GMT uh, twice a year so we have to reset it um, for that also my experience with these DS1307 chips is they, they'll tend to drift a little, so like after maybe six months or so, um, mine kind of, they'll drift maybe two or three minutes. So every now and then, after six months or a year, I'll, I'll have to reset the time. Um, it's not bad, it just depends on how accurate you want to be. So uh, anyway, thank you for watching the video.